Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The speed greater than 5 times the speed of sound or Mach 5 is called hypersonic speed. The hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter given these weapons speed, maneuverability, low flight paths and unpredictable trajectories. While traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles follows relatively predictable up and down trajectory, hypersonic weapons are maneuverable and can fly at altitudes where very few military sensors and radars are monitoring. They can conceivably be deployed from land, air and sea. There are two types of hypersonic weapons which are under development or in service with various military of the world. The first one is hypersonic cruise missile which are powered by an air breathing ramjet or scramjet or dual mode ramjet DMRJ engine and hypersonic glide vehicles which reach orbit with a conventional booster before gliding towards a target. The hypersonic cruise missiles are powered throughout their flight using a scramjet engine whereas hypersonic glide vehicle makes use of their aerodynamic shape to glide towards the target after release from certain altitude and speed. The hypersonic glide vehicle follows zigzag trajectory during their terminal phase, not a typical parabolic path which makes their prediction extremely difficult. The hypersonic cruise missile has comparatively smoother path of motion, but their flight altitude is much lower than hypersonic glide vehicle and hence their detection in radar is nearly impossible due to Earth's curvature. As we all know that DRDO has been working on developing a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle or HSTDV which is powered by a scramjet engine and will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missile. The development of hypersonic cruise missile which is expected to be a spin-off of HSTDV will be powered by a scramjet engine and has commenced under the name Project Vishnu. Similar to HSTDV, this cruise missile will have two stages. The missile is expected to have better fuel efficiency and may have thrust vectoring capability. Just like HSTDV, the missile to be developed under Project Vishnu is going to be a solid rocket motor. This stage will be used to take missile to desired speed and altitude where the scramjet engine will ignite. The scramjet engine does not work at stall condition and first need to be carried to supersonic speed to ignite them. This is how they got their name as supersonic combustion ramjet or in short scramjet. Mastering the scramjet engine won't be an easy task. In recent interview, the DRDO chief informed that organization is also working on scramjet engine and materials required for it and various thermodynamic aspects of the system. DRDO is working on materials which can withstand the thermodynamic stresses in the hypersonic vehicles. We have also seen various tenders released this year for acquiring different parts of HSTDV program which indicates DRDO is planning the HSTDV test this year which will be building block for the upcoming hypersonic cruise missile programs like Vishnu. The official sanction of this project is expected this year. There are two different variants of hypersonic missiles which are likely to be developed under Project Vishnu. The first one is going to be surface to surface missile with a range around 2500 kilometers and expected to enter service by 2024 to 25. The second one is going to be a smaller and compact version of air launched hypersonic cruise missile with a range in excess of 700 kilometers that can be launched from an aircraft. The expected speed of this missile will range from Mach 7 to 10. Not much of the information is available about this program and in future as the development progresses more information will come in public domain. We can expect changes in its specification as well. Since DRDO has not started from scratch and has already performed successful trial of HSTDV, the reasonable time for the completion of the project of these missiles will be 4 to 5 years. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. 
Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.